Welcome to tutorial number four. We already start talking about sketching and make some sketches in the previous tutorial. Now I'm going to continue talking also about sketches. So let's start a new part from file. This time new and here you pick part. Okay. And let's start a uh, new sketch we know how to start the sketcher and in this time we're going to talk about the let's take this menu here we talked in the last tutorial about the rectangle tools to be more clear strike it here And now we're going to talk about the profile and the line so and see the difference between both two so let's start with the line and here in the sketch tool menu you see the coordinates of the line and the angle of the line so when you open it you click it's done you want to draw another line just activate the line tool again and start another line as you notice each time we need to pick the line tool and here if you look when you hover at the end point of this line segment you see a blue dot that means you are starting the new line exactly on the end of this line now again last time we're going to close this profile but if you use the profile tool is more easier and time saving you just pick it one time and start drawing the line that the need of all the, all the time activating the tool and here we have our profile also with the profile tool you can draw arcs for example let's start profile and if you click and hold the mouse the profile changed to be an arc now let's draw another line hold you see this hand now you have an arc so you created this profile easily with only the profile tool and if you hover over the line tool you see different type of lines for a beginner this is this line the first one is the most used one but mostly you're going to use the profile tool and the other types if you hover you can see the type of these lines and with more practice you're going to automatically know how these lines works in the future but as for a beginner to be enough with the profile and the line tool so now i can close this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm going to talk about the dimensions how to add dimensions and constraints to make your profile more accurate so see you in the next tutorial